I guess we rebuild this. How did they get there? Sneaky devils. Not another road up here. Mm, looks like a dead end to me. Anyway, the archers are doing quite good, so let's make sure we've got some more of those coming. Ah, that's better. We can hold down shift and then mass produce a few. One, two, three. Oh, it's food. Food is what we're short of. Okay. I don't think I need a lot of stone. Don't need all that gold. What? Who said that? Hmm. I need some spears up there. Urgently. Send these to the front. I guess... Tell you what I should do. Let's just... Uh, build the army up here. I don't need them. I don't need them to be spawning at the back, do I? And once we've gathered up enough men, we'll just uh, we'll just push in. Will I be streaming Thursday? Yeah, I hope to be. I, I should be this week. I didn't get quite all the video jobs done last week, which is why I took a few days off. I, I got some done and some planned, which, which has helped. But I filled the days with uh, just, just regular computer work, which wasn't the idea, but, you know, it clearly needed doing anyway. Guys, what are you doing? I can put you to work. Oh, you were originally hacking sheep to death, weren't you? Yes, I remember now. Have we got any more snoozing villages? Wood. What's going on up here? Alright, so this is going to be quite the fight. I wonder if I should just build a gate across there. I don't really want my army to get knackered. I should fence them in, shouldn't I? And hold them off and kill them with towers. Yeah, I think I should. Oh, it's Thanksgiving for you in the US. Is it already? Wow. The year is progressing onwards rather fast. Guys, get out of there. Where are the villagers? There should be some villagers in there, unless they've died. The scouts have died. Uh, can I see... Oh, no, we've got two villagers there. Right. Give me some fencing. Where can I put fencing up? Nowhere, apparently. I should have done that first, perhaps. Clonk. It will not let me do that. Cannot build here. Is it because it's not mine, do you think? It could be. Right, okay. This this is the traditional trap. Ha! This will be foolproof. Can I actually get through to the other side before that's finished? I better just make sure that those buildings aren't going to put all their... Hang on, why are they going there still? I thought I've shifted them across to the the new place, have I not? Let's send them over. Let's get the sheep out of there. This is this is typical RTS stuff then, isn't it? That you get to a point where you just have to spend forever building up um, an army to go and swamp the guy's base. So tell me about Thanksgiving. All I know is that it's like a massive feast day in the US, which I really like the sound of. But do you like traditionally give gifts at Thanksgiving or is that just a Christmas thing like it is over here? Did my uh my little my little dudes get killed? Can I see Nope, I've got two villagers. Get back to work. Where's the archers at, actually? They were on two. 
I'm going to garrison these towers. Or am I? Ah, they can only just get in. Well, we do need to build a gate in the middle of that, to be fair. No gifts, but you kill each other for mildly better deals on the same day. <laughs> ah, yes, Black Friday coming up. I'm trying to find some decent Black Friday deals in the UK for anything that I actually want rather than just for the sake of buying stuff. I was rather hoping that Elgato would have like a... And they might yet, because they do sometimes announce it right at the last minute. But I was rather hoping that Elgato would do a, like a deal on the face cam, which I've wanted for a bit. That sounds like there's an alarm going off somewhere. No. Well, the food situation's got better now, so why aren't we producing... It's okay. If it's at the top, it'll be fine. We need... And we need some more archers. And I'm out of food. No, you fools. The idea is not to go streaming through the gate and get chopped up. Right, okay. I will build this army. And I do notice there's another thing over here that we can go and storm. So maybe we can go and destroy their barracks and stuff. Lots of food, turkey stuffing, potato dishes, casseroles, pumpkin pie. Is that a thing on Thanksgiving? Never had a pumpkin pie. Probably not quite how I imagine. It's not made, I guess, like cherry pie or an apple pie. We're just like nicely stewed and sweet and filling. It's going to be something a bit different, isn't it? Right, archers. We have archers still here. Is he going to send the whole lot off to garrison that? And can we lock this gate, by the way? Gate unlocked. Brilliant. We are going to fix that. All right, get my people back. Where are the where are the builders? Oh, we've only got one left now. I think the other one just got killed. We can build siege towers, can't we? Hang on a sec. We can build a battering ram. Nice. Lock the gate. You ain't going through there. So they're going to come around and... Are they going to... Hey, they didn't kill the villager. That's nice. <laughs> Excuse me. The gate is locked. And it shall remain locked. Just be mindful about the amount of data that the USB port can sustain for the face cam. You had to check your USB ports carefully as the face cam was freezing constantly. Ah, okay, so it's like a... It'd be, it would want to go over USB 3, I take it, to get the extra bandwidth. You got some good deals on Black Friday and previous ones, eh? Yeah, they the shops tend to put things on sale. Uh, certainly in the UK, the deals are usually pretty slim. But they tend to use Black Friday as a mass hysteria sort of day where people will just go and buy any old crap without really thinking about it. Can I do one, two, three? Right, you lot, get working on these. You lot, I need another battering ram. Can I have another battering ram? Maybe not. Well, you don't look very well. Right, just in case... What? What did I press there to, to suddenly launch myself across the map? Can't go right up there, so... If they try this again... This is going to be interesting, isn't it? Do you think I can get the siege towers through that gate? <laughs> oh, I didn't think of that. Right, archers. Parate. 
I'll leave some cavalry behind and we'll take this. What can this do? This can have, what, eight people? They can have 16 people, okay. Ah, oh, this is interesting how these work then. Where's my builder? Is she not, uh, she's not working? Does this work then? Yes, they can just move straight through it. Excellent, okay. I'll come back out for a minute. I don't know if I need siege towers actually, considering that there's nothing. No, I don't. They're for going over walls, aren't they? <laughs> right, towers. Do your worst. Right, archers. This should be locked now, by the way. No. Remain locked, please. Let's do control three for those. Right, anything that comes down there is going to get nuked down, which is great. So lots of archers are always good. I probably want some more of these vanguard things, so... It's just food that's holding me back. And their army seems to be getting bigger. Alright, they must be coming out to one of the other places to do this. This is highly annoying. Let me see if I can deal with this. Um, I guess I need some soldiers back here, don't I? That's not going well at all. Oh, bollocks. Yeah, I'm going to have to bring them back. Come and kill them. Uh, let me see, what have we got? The gold reserves are getting bigger and bigger. Go and build a couple of towers there. Don't you dare kill that. Do, do not you dare kill that, foul being. I should have brought some spearmen. I should have brought some spearmen. I am a fool. What's that? Attack at the gate as well. Well, at least they're having to focus on the towers now, which is better than charging my men, I think. Did we get him? We did. Good. Come and have a heal up. I can do with building this over there, actually. Right, you guys are done. Let's go and take a little look. What's what's over here? Have we, have we got. Mm, the towers seem. Oh, that one's falling down a bit. Where are they going to go? Okay. This great defensive works wasn't quite the uh, genius move that I thought it was going to be. Let's take a little look over this bridge. I'm expecting there to be another camp down here, but maybe... Did he just say perfect day? Oi, cavalry. Well, I had the right unit there to go and mash those guys. That just looks like another way around. So what we'll do is we'll take this little builder and we are going to build 
a little defensive palisade over here. Only apparently we're not. Because it won't let us. I don't know why it won't let us. Maybe we'll do it this way. This should stop the turds coming over. Oh, hang on. Yeah, we can. We can. That's cool. Go and do that. And then we've got another way into the town. Let's take a closer look. Should have scouts for this, really. Did sound like perfect day, didn't it? No. Right. There's, there's towers. <laughs> stop right there. That is the sound of people getting chopped up somewhere. Right, what have I got over here? Let's let's Do you think these siege towers are of any value whatsoever? I don't think they are. I think I need to send the army in to deal with this lot and then battering rams. Let's uh, drop the men out of there actually. Can I get them out of there? How do I do this? They're out. Okay. Right, move these out the way then. Right, that's doing its job. We have a mighty wall of towers around this and one gate. Almost sounds like Shrek saying donkey as well. I'll listen out for that. I got some spare villagers. Let's get some, let's get five of them out. What have we got? So they, they built some stuff. I need, um, I'm going to build some houses. Go find some houses to put up. One, two. Should be an extra 60 people from that. And then we'll get some farms. Do you want farms going? Might need some wood going. Oh, what's this down here? I left some guy at the, the camp. That was a mistake. Damn, my tower's gone. Retreat! Uh, um, gatehouse. <laughs> Let's let everything in. Right, lock that again. Let's just move this back a bit. Not you. You go away. And in that little bunch there, do I have a villager? No, I think my villager's dead. Well, I'm going to have to get the uh, the army in there at some point. So we need a gate on there. And then one, two, three, four... Five. And I'm out of wood. We lock that. Right, let's just get the army built. Which seems to be taking uh, a remarkably long time. Am I actually producing anything? I'm out of wood. That's the problem. Okay, what's going on down here? We have food reserves that are doing okay. Give me five villagers and a pier. Yeah, you were supposed to be going to build these, were you not? You can chuck your gold in there. And then I need a big wood camp somewhere. This'll do. Let's put a, a lumber camp over here. Sleeping? Sleeping? 
There should be a button up here. I'm, has there not been in other games where it like highlights a number of like sleeping villagers that aren't doing anything? Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Move up close. Go and shoot those guys. <laughs> this is exactly how I remember playing Age of Empires 2. Really doesn't look like things have moved on in 20 years. Apart from a few features. I don't remember seeing all the different units grouped up like this if you selected like a, a blob of men. So that's nice. Uh, let's get these chaps building another... Can I build another... Can I destroy that? Delete unit. Hold left click. Oh, I see. I wonder if there's a limit to how many siege towers and stuff you can have. So what if I get these guys and build... I just need more wood. They're already logging. You can get to work uh, on that. What should we have? Do I want cavalry? I don't think I want cavalry. I don't think they're that great. Good for running after archers, but when you go into a town, it's just it's just a mess. So we will take. They don't require wood. That's good news. Just lots and lots of food. Yep. Yep, here we go. Right, five sleepy villagers. Let's go for food on this one, I think. Um, I could build a, uh, a... A mill, but I'm not going to bother. Nor am I worried about town layout, either. Hey. Hey, hey, just, just one. Indigo, nice to see you, and thanks for the hydrate. Are we missing one? Yeah, I overbuilt, that's fine. Uh, let's see. We've got the wood supplies coming in. We'll have some more archers. Let's march these guys over. So this has to be starting to fill up now. Has to be. I'm <laughs> looking forward to getting that thing in. I wanted to see it go and batter down the uh, the keep. Interesting that I. It looks like one guy can build a battering ram as fast as a hundred guys can. Let's put that to the test, shall we? So 350 wood. That'll fill up quite soon. Oh, nice. So yes, it does show you if someone's asleep, right? And you can click on them, and it. Yeah, that's good. That is good. Okay. I thought there was a button for that somewhere. I'm not going to waste any more resources on that. I thought that was my gate then, I had a miniature panic. Right, let's put some speed in Oh no, that's... Right, and one guy, this archer at the back. Build one of those. No, that definitely is taking a lot longer, so. You don't need all those, but that definitely speeds the process up. So three battering rams are going to go straight for the keep, and the rest of the guys are going to try and just uh, take out the army. So how are we doing? You're building. Nice. Maxed out, I think. We're getting there for the big assault.
<laughs> I better put the three. Oh, hang on. Yeah, let's just put those guys on. So I'll put you on to six. Group six. Should we form a wedge of battering rams? Go on, I need to see what that looks like. <laughs> That well-known battlefield formation, the wedge of battering rams. Nice if you could see the guy's legs, you know, inside as pushing this. I'll need to remember to eject these archers out as well. Should we do a big push now? Should we go for it? I mean, I do have 48 men in there as well, I've, I've got to remember. Interestingly, if I... Will the battering rams attack if I drop the guys out? As in, can I use the battering rams as cover to get in, like, a, like an armoured personnel carrier, drop the guys out who will then fight on foot, and then the battering rams will still attack the walls and stuff? I don't know. Always push, no retreat, only forward. You sound like you've been playing the uh, Hearts of Iron No Step Back DLC today. I think it's tomorrow, actually, that releases. I think it's just preview um, press copies that are out today. Should we wait for the next big assault to crash against my gates? And then we'll go in. I mean, look, they've got all these. They've got stacks of men. Are they coming in? Did that just appear? Right, I'm going to try and take that thing down, that keep. And as I go in, maybe I should bring some villagers and just build towers at the back here in case we need to retreat again. No, hang on. Let's smash this attack force that's coming in. Gives me a chance for a few more troops to turn up as well. That will be the perfect time to go, I think. When they've all been killed. I think those three archers outside there are going to die. But... And they're retreating. Follow them back, fellas. Follow them back. Right, this, this is it. This is it. Go and revive him. Why did I have the, the <laughs> battering ram so far back? Come on. Charge them in. They just need to go and attack that. We've got archers. Let's take up their archers. <laughs> and all hell breaks loose. What's this? Arrow slits? Could I, should I have built arrow slits in there to get the archers to shoot out of them? I feel like I'm getting murdered here. Let's drop some blokes out of these. Go, fellas, get stuck in. Is the battering ram still attacking? I think it is. Okay, so you can use these like armoured personnel carriers. Nice. Objective done. <laughs> okay, I like that. I like the way you can move troops into battle like that, into the siege. The keep fell to the Norman army, and York was secured. The Northern Rebellion was over, and William the Conqueror was uncontested as King of England. 
There is a keep like that in York still on a big mound in the middle of the city. It's called Clifford's Tower. And uh, I went round it a few years ago. There's not a lot to see. It is just literally a keep. And uh, all that was, it is on a huge mound though. I mean, it's really, really built up right in the middle of the city. It looks kind of strange. North to York video. I think we've seen that. Continue. <laughs> Looking at the, how the time scale is moving, I think this campaign might go on for a long time. William the Conqueror had recaptured York from the rebels. And that was Clifford's Tower now there. Now he wanted to teach them a lesson for defying him. He began a brutal campaign of destruction to crush any further resistance, known as the harrying of the North. Villages and crops were destroyed. It is said a hundred thousand people were killed. That would be a that's With a ruthless efficiency. William the Conqueror had secured obedience in his new kingdom. That's a huge chunk of the population. But back it wasn't then. to last. If it's it correct, it would be thrown into chaos by his own children. Hey Mills. Oh, you could use the rams like that in Age of Empires 2 as well. I don't remember using them like that. I, when William maybe the I never did. died in 1087, his favourite son succeeded him. King William II, known as William Rufus. But 13 years into his reign, disaster struck. While out hunting, he was killed. William's youngest brother took his place as King Henry I. But there was a problem. <laughs> At the time, Henry's elder brother, Robert, Duke of Normandy, had been on crusade. When he returned, he was furious that Henry had grabbed the throne. From Normandy, Robert attempted to invade England to claim the crown from his brother. I like the video in this. But he failed and returned home. Michael, thanks for the hydrate. Cheers. In retaliation, Henry struck back. In a reversal of 1066, he crossed the Channel and invaded Normandy, intent on undermining his brother Robert's rule. His first target was Bayer. Is that how it's pronounced? This rich and splendid city was one of the jewels of Normandy. Henry was to begin his campaign by unleashing his forces on the city. Bayer was about to feel the wrath of the English army. 